Hi there. Um, I'd like to uh, tell you something about the workshops I run. Um, I hold them here in my studio in sunny Lech Lade in the in the Cotswolds, lovely part of the world. Um, and I have up to seven people um, at a time for a workshop. Um, I never have any more than that because I like to give everybody some some one to one time and, and make sure that um, I'm able to get the best out of them by getting the best out of me. I run um, four different courses. Um, the first one is effectively for people who who want to have a go at portraiture, who have a little experience, perhaps even no experience of oils, um, and and want to get to grips with the basics of of glazing and impasto and and creating a likeness. Um, it doesn't mean to say you have to be a beginner. Um, you may well be somebody who's been painting for a while, but wants to start at a point where you can ease yourself into uh, the whole aspect of portrait painting. Um, the next course um, that I do is, is really aimed at people who, who may have done a bit of portraiture, um, have done a bit of oil painting, uh, may have done quite a lot actually, um, but what they're looking to do is to get involved in some of the processes that and some of the ways of working that the, the, the old masters used to undertake. And again, that's for all levels. Um, you know, you don't have to be um, someone who who is used to producing incredibly realistic looking work. You can work loosely and still develop um, within a course like this. Um, I do a painting from life course. Now that tends to be when I've got enough people interested, if people have registered their interest, then I'll put on a specific um, course where we'll get a model in and we'll paint, we'll paint from life. Um, and then of course there is the uh, equestrian and animal painting courses. I put the two together because at the end of the day, whether you're painting a horse or a dog or a, um, um, or a polar bear, uh, the challenges are, are, still, are still the same. Um, okay, um, so what happens in a workshop? Well, for all I do a number of different workshops, the, the way we approach it is very similar. Um, we start off with a talk by me where I'll go through things like mediums, how to make them, what they do, the types of brushes we use, and I'll even, for those who want it, help you to develop a technique for, say, squaring up from a photograph to a canvas uh, that is much more effective than the, than the conventional way of doing it. Um, we then move into the studio and, um, and, and what happens is at each stage of the process I do a demonstration so that you can, you can see me doing it, you can ask me questions, um, I can talk you through some of the tricky bits and, and give you some of the, the shorthand for, um, for making these kind of techniques that I show effective. Um, and, and during each workshop we'll generally cover at least two different techniques. And the reason I do that for that is because it helps you then to kind of go, well, I liked that bit of that technique and I liked that bit of that technique. I'm going to put them together and I'm going to see what happens. And of course, once you're armed with all of that kind of information, it becomes so much easier to develop your own way of, your own way of painting. One of the things that's really important to me is to make sure that we get your style, your individual approach, your language out on the canvas. The worst kind of teaching is the one where the tutor tries to make you paint like them. That's not teaching at all, that's absolute fraud. At the end of the day, you have a natural way of expressing yourself. My job is to find that and to help you make the most of it. <clears throat> Think of it like this, when you were at school, they got you to do those writing exercises, just like me, you know, loads of E's like that, loads of I's, loads of A's, endlessly across the page. Dull, boring, repetitive, all of that stuff. And the idea was to make us all write properly. But what happened? As soon as the lesson was over and you went into English, you wrote up the page, down the page, big letters, little letters, slanty letters. Some people wrote like that, some people wrote like that. In other words, everybody painted in the way that was right and natural to them. And that's what we all have inside us. 
And that is the gift we carry around and that is what we want to bring out in a workshop. Um, I'll also talk to you about um, how to use photographs properly so that you paint pictures that look like they're from life as opposed to copies of photographs. Um, I will talk to you about how to do your drawing and how to fix your drawing in a way that allows you to paint on top without losing all of your work. Um, I will talk to you about um, the kind of features on faces, and why some are important, why some are not important. I'll even talk to you about getting the pose right. Um, I will talk about some of the old masters, I'll talk about how they did their paintings, and I'll use that as a kind of reference so that when I'm saying to you, you know, when you're applying a glaze and, and it, it, it's useful to do it like this, you'll have in the back of your mind maybe a picture or an artist that you can relate that to. And that's probably uh, about as much as I can um, uh, I can tell you on a on a video like this. Uh, the rest is up to you. Give us a shout. Um, ask me any questions. Send us an email, and I'll happily talk through any particular aspects of the course that you're you're concerned about or you want to know more about. Um, and if you want some advice on things like uh, places to stay, speak to Kathy. She's brilliant. She knows all the good ones, and more importantly, she'll steer you away from anywhere that she doesn't think is suitable um, for one of our artists. Okay, uh, Kathy, Kathy, come here, come here, come here. Look into the camera and say a quick hello to all those people you're going to be dealing with. Hi, everybody. Look forward to seeing you at a workshop soon. The wife. <laughs> See you later. She hates me for that. <laughs>